Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I wanna share with you some tips and tricks on how to carve stars with the Dremel. Before purchasing my CNC, I used my Dremel to carve all my stars and all my designs on my rustic flags. So along the way, I picked up some tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you today. So let's jump right into that. So I just wanna quickly share with you the three attachments that I use. I use the 7134 to create the outline of the stars. Once I finish with the 7134, I then move on to the 105, and this is the tool that I use to remove the wood from inside the star, or essentially make the star here. And once I finish off with the 105, I like to smooth out the stars with the 107. Hey guys, I'm editing this video and I just wanted to really quickly say that three tool changes may seem like a lot for 50 stars, but in reality, it doesn't take too long once you start getting the muscle memory. Also, it's gonna give you really pointy stars and your stars are gonna be smooth looking. They're not gonna be gouged. They're not gonna be starfish round and you're really gonna be happy with these stars. So I just wanna share with you that it is worth it, but that's just my preference. It's not the only way to carve stars. It's not the, the best way maybe, but it's just a method and this is the method that I found works the best for me. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Let's go ahead and jump into the video now and this is me outlining the stars with the 7134. When using a Dremel, it's important to keep in mind that you're not wanting to carve deep into the wood. You only want to take off the top layer of the wood to remove the stain and leave the natural wood behind. So to achieve this, the most important tip when outlining your stars is to carve away from your body. When you carve away from your body, you're carving in the direction that the tool spins, thereby reducing, if not completely eliminating, the possibility of gouging the wood. In this clip, the Dremel is spinning at level 2 and captured in slow motion to demonstrate the spin direction. When carving in this direction, you will need to be in control of your tool because it can easily pull away and get away from you as seen in this clip. In this clip, the Dremel was spinning at max speed and it pulled away from me, carving outside of the star. And so to fix the star, I put some stain in the affected area and then carved within the star outline. Another tip while outlining the stars is rather than carving the outline as a single continuous line, use multiple lines to create sharp transitions to create the overall shape. Once the outlines have been completed, I change over to the 105 attachment. With this attachment, I thicken the outline since there is now a groove that I can ride and I can also remove the wood from the center of the stars. Every time I am outlining, I always move in the direction away from my body. When I carve out the center of the stars, I use small back and forth movements, barely grazing the top of the wood. Barely grazing the wood will remove the stain and you won't gouge the wood. And so that we're on the same page, this star is being carved in real time. This has not been sped up. Once the stars are completed, you may opt to stop here, but I like to go over them once more with a 107 attachment, and this gives the stars a smoother look. After the 105 attachment, it leaves some fuzzy parts behind, and the 107 can smooth that out. Once I finish smoothing the stars, I lightly torch them to make them match the rest of the torch flag. It balances the overall look, but go light, you don't want to darken them too much. As you can probably tell, I was carving the stars on the American flag rustic cross. So if you haven't seen that build yet, make sure to click on your screen now and I'll see you there. Thanks guys.